everyone, it's Justine and today we're going to learn how to make three different holiday envelopes that you can use with your card. Some are quick and easy and some require a little bit more work, but let's get started. So for this card here, I'm going to be doing a coordinating envelope, meaning that I'm going to make my envelope match my card. Now, if you're making about 100 Christmas cards, I don't recommend having cards that match or envelopes that match all your cards unless you do the same type of card for everyone because it's just going to take forever. So what I did was I grabbed the same stamp set that I used for day one's card and I'm going to grab a couple of stamps from this stamp set. So you could use the trees if you truly wanted to make a coordinating or you can use the same colors or whatever you like. But generally I like to do something that's quick and easy. Now I'm going to be using two colors from my favorite things. Now these are the same colors that I used on my card and I'm going to be using the ornament stamp from this card and I'm going to be making a line of ornaments. So I freehand drew a black line that is kind of squiggly and fun, kind of reminds me of the Grinch. And I'm going back and forth and I'm going to be stamping between green and red. So I stamped all the red ones first, leaving a nice space in between each of the ornaments and I filled in using the green. It's a lot easier than switching between colors. Then I'm going to be writing the address. Now there is this absolutely amazing stamp set from Concord and Ninth and it is called perfectly penned and it has a couple of, of fonts on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some straight lines using my paper trimmer here and because I don't have a ruler at the moment that I can find and my pencil and I'm going to be stamping the address out on the st using stamps. Now this is really amazing for envelopes that you're making now and again. I wouldn't recommend to do this for 100 Christmas cards or anything because it's going to take forever. But I'm going to address this to Suzanne from So Suzy Stamps. Now this is just her shop address so I'm sure she doesn't mind me using it on the video. And I am stamping each individual one. So I grabbed the, there's capital letters and regular lowercase letters in the, in the curvy font or the cursive font and then there is the very plain font and that's what I'm going to use the address on so it's easy to read by the post office. And I think by the time you're finished it looks completely beautiful but as I said it's an unrealistic idea if you're going to be doing a hundred Christmas cards but if you want to do one now and again that's super special I think it's amazing. So I'm just finishing up the address here and as you can see it looks absolutely amazing it looks beautiful it coordinates with the colors of the actual card itself. The it, craft almost matches each other. Obviously it's a bit different since I bought the envelopes. And I'm just going to stamp the please deliver to and then add my own personal address label onto the back. So all I did was print these out and then I cut them out using a one and a quarter inch punch and then that was that. So I think they look really cute and they're really quick and easy to add to my cards. So that's the more time consuming envelope. Again, if you're only making a couple, this is absolutely beautiful doing the alphabet stamping. Super fun, but you can hand write those obviously as well. The next one I'm going to show you are good ones for quick bulk envelopes. So I would recommend using either a misty or a very big block for this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink this stamp up here. It's from Hero Arts and I'm going to stamp this onto the back of the envelope. It's just such an adorable um, home for the holidays type of stamp and then there's no place like home and I'm going to stamp that on the back of all of my envelopes which is super easy and then for the front of the envelopes I'm grabbing this stamp set here from Catherine Pooler. I got this in one of the stamp of approval kits so it's not currently available on the market but it will be available probably next year and I'm just coordinating all of these little candy canes and I just put them in a certain order and I'm inking them up using red and green ink. Now I'm using the Misty and I have them spaced out enough that I can easily stamp the individual colors with my mini blocks but you can do them all the same color if you'd like or you could emboss them or whatever you like. So all I need to do is just stamp this and because this is a brand new stamp I am going to stamp it two times just because it didn't stamp perfectly the first time on some of the candy canes. And if you're doing the Misty all you need to do is add in a new envelope ink it up, close the panel again and just keep going and as I said you can make them all in one color and it would make it even faster. So you can just simply keep the design on the block or on your MISTI and just stamp each and every one of your envelopes in the same way. The third idea is the embossed envelope. So just adding a really pretty embossing and I really like to do these on colored envelopes that are really solid and pretty and I'm going to be using the Blowing Snowflake stamp from So Suzy Stamps that hopefully will be coming back into stock shortly. Now I'm going to ink this up using Versamark ink 
and I'm going to heat emboss all of my envelopes. It's a little bit time consuming as well, but it doesn't take too long. You could also write the address in white gel pen, but make sure that you heat set it as well as gel pen will actually, or often, will smudge still after it never truly dries. So you have to make sure that, once again, you do heat, hit it with the heat gun, maybe as you're doing your embossing as well. And I'm just going to add some white, super fine embossing powder onto this and then flick the back to get off any excess powder. And then I'm just going to emboss it with a heat tool and it is absolutely gorgeous. And you can do this with really any stamp that you own and make quick, easy, and very elegant stamp or envelopes. So I hope you enjoyed the three ideas I showed you and I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Thanks for watching.